Alright, this lesson is on how to turn this graphical key into a written key. First, we need to have a margin. This is where we're going to start writing our words. And since our major group is at the very top, we put that first. In this case, animal. Next, we need to look what's under animal. Those two things are these two words, descriptive and description. Since this is our first group, we will label it A. And we could start with either side, it doesn't matter. Let's start with the left side, descriptive. So we indent, and we put down our first word of our first group. Then we look what's underneath it. We have two more words. Since this is our second group, we'll label it B. Again, we can pick either word, it doesn't matter. So let's again pick the one on the left side. We indent, write down B, and then write down the word. If we look underneath it, we find there are two more words. Since we'll have this be our third group, we'll label it C. Now again, doesn't matter which one we start with, but there's nothing below either of them, so then we'll just put C1 in this case, and then C2. Since there's nothing below either of these words, we go back up one level, and we put down our other B group. Since there's nothing underneath it, we go back up one more level, and we look at our A group again, and we find there is another word, so we write that one down, and then we look at what's underneath it, label it next group D. We'll pick the right side this time. Underneath the right side, uh, underneath the right side there's a group, and that group will be our next group, so we label it E. And again, it doesn't matter which one we pick, and we'll write down one of them, that, we check to see if there's anything underneath it, since there isn't, we can write down the second one, this, in the E group, we check if there's under, anything underneath that, since there isn't, we go back up to the D group, we write down the next D word. We look to see if there's anything under that, and we find that, yes, there is, so we'll label that F. Okay, so this is the last step. We write down our first F group, there's nothing underneath that. We write down the second one in our F group, there's nothing underneath that. So essentially, at this point, we're finished with our written key. But of course, we did label them with numbers. So that's the numbers that you see here. And if you look, anywhere that you go down this key, you'll get to the same thing on both the written and on the graphical key. So let's look at an example. We start at the very top of the graphical key and we drop down. Let's pick description. We drop down from description to the right side and we find another. We drop down from another to the right side and we find that. The same thing happens if we go on the written key. We find where description is. It's in second group A. We drop down from description. We have the first group, another. We drop down from another and we have that. Both of them are labeled number seven. If your keys are correct, then both of them will come to the same conclusions and that's the way to check it. Any questions as always, please email me with them and I'll try to help you out. Otherwise, this assignment is due on the 18th of March, which is a Wednesday. And I'll return them to you as soon as possible, giving you any additional time if you need to correct them.